Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. I am Mars and I hope you're having a splendid day. In today's video, we will be doing something I have been wanting to do since I even got the car, and that is to get rid of this hideous, nasty faux gas cap on the rear deck lid panel. I'm not sure what Ford was thinking when they put it there. All export models, I believe, have it on the 2015 to the 2019 model. And also, I think the Bullet Mustang has it as well in the US as well. So in US, you don't have this cap thingy. You only have the GD, GT badge. But what we will be doing today is to install the Ford Performance deck lid panel which doesn't have this faux gas cap it's completely blank no holes for alignment pins etc so that will be a great addition i think i truly hate this gas cap i think it ruins the whole rear end of the car however there is one really great positive thing with this and that is, as we all know, this uh, deck lid panel gets scratched as soon as you look at it. So if you're uh, placing your fingers etc. here to close the deck lid, you will scratch it for sure. The only good thing with this is that you can use it as a handle when closing the deck lid. Like such. Apart from that, I truly hate it. I really do. Water, when you're washing the car, gets stuck around here and also around in this inner uh, part here. So I have to go over it 500 times with my blower to get all the water out. Otherwise, it will start dripping, dripping. And that great finish you had when you have washed your car and dried it up, not so much. So. This will be unboxed, this will be removed, and this will be replacing it. Without any further ado, let's get on with the install. Look at it. So much cleaner than whatever is installed on the car now. So much better. We also have a fake or we have a cap for the camera, so for the rear view camera or backup camera, so that we need to replace as well. And uh, the installation is quite forward. Uh, there are four bolts on each side uh, underneath the trunk, which we need to remove. And the tricky part here is to, when we are trying to remove the deck lid panel, because there are clips, metal clips, which we need to pop off or whatever to remove the deck lid panel so we want to be careful not to scratch anything uh, on the actual uh, deck lid so we will use tape or some microfiber cloth while we are using our prime tool to pry this off so let's get on with that so what we need to start off with is to remove these covers Behind these we have two 7mm bolts, I believe they are 7mm. And then on the other side we remove these covers and do the same. Once that's done, we can start prying off the actual deck lid panel. So we want to be very careful so we don't drop these bolts into the in between the sheet metal then you're gonna have a rattle can and it's going to be hell to get that bolt out and with my luck I would assume that's what's gonna happen but let's see next step is then to remove the panel itself and it's held on to by metal clips and rather tight from what I have seen we would need to use a prying tool to get in behind here and try to pry this off 
We will try to protect the deck lid with a microfiber cloth while we are doing so because we need to bend. If it's not possible with a microfiber cloth, we then have to apply some masking tape all the way here so we don't damage anything while going at it. But I will try to start off with this and see if we get any luck. So we go from one side to the other side and also we need to be careful when removing this so we don't damage the cable or uh, the camera itself uh, or the rear view camera or backup camera. So let's start off with that. So with the OEM panel off, I have placed it on top of the Ford Performance one. As you can see, the Ford Performance one have has a alignment pin there, and also an alignment pin there, and the same goes on the other side, but the OEM one does not have these alignment pins, and there are no holes for these in the trunk, so we need to remove these out in order to get it into place. So that's the next step and then when that's done we'll remove the camera module and uh, put it on the full performance pack deck it panel. Now we have dremeled off the uh, extra alignment pins which are not needed and would have not fit so to speak as we don't have holes for them in the boot. Next is then to remove the bracket here and then remove the uh, camera module and move it on over to the Ford Performance Pack with the panel. These bolts are five and a half millimeter bolts. Next then is to remove the camera from the OEM panel. It is good when removing this to remember the orientation so you don't have your picture upside down and have to reassemble everything and that's nothing we want to do. Right now we have everything installed, also the panel comes with the metal clips already attached so you don't have to swap over the old ones. And also then we need to remember to keep these uh, alignment pins or whatever you want to call them to this hold down panel so they need to go under here. have to tighten down the panel with the four bolts we removed as one of the first steps. So that's what we're going to do next and hopefully we won't drop anything into the deck lid. As a last step we will install, reinstall the access covers for the bolts. Now you understand what I mean with the bolt cap. I don't have anywhere to put my hand to close this. I have to put it on the edge here and try to close it and we'll see what it looks like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final result and it's looking so much better, so much cleaner. And I have already given this some small scratches, but it made a huge difference. It looks so much cleaner now. I don't think it's coming through in the video, but it's a big difference. It's, it really is. It really is a big difference. However, I did do fuck. Up. Can you see that? So at some point in time, I thought, hmm, let me use this prime tool with the kink. Even though I was using a microfiber towel between the tool and the trunk, 
this part here kink dented kabuki I'm really depressed now however with that said so this is a pro tip always use the ones that are straight so I I did that 95% of the time when I was removing this but the first one I thought I'll try with this and then this happened god damn it however I think a shop will be able to fix it similar way to when you fix a dent on your door and this is one of the reasons why I have not uh, uh, put back the deck lid uh, <coughs> liner because I will see if I can uh, get a time this week and if they can uh, it is possible I can feel the dent uh, with my hand going through here so hopefully they can get their tools in and uh, fix it so that was a real re uh, look at it you can see it from here it looks really bad so whatever you do don't use one of these mother on the car or at least while doing this type of work.